Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, so here we are on the actual Minecraft Land Party server. We're still running 1.2. 12.2 mostly because Spigot is not updated yet and I found some issues but I wanted to show you something I've been working on another single chunk farm and look at that isn't that pretty it's a wall of glass in front of a wall of slime in front of some uh, sea lanterns <laughs> and in front of a wall of, of brick so this was this is a slime chunk and I know Barb makes things is building out her her sort of most efficient slime farm that one can build uh, under circumstances and so I'm I was just uh, but I've been meaning to build a slime farm in here all within a single chunk which uh, the the the, the slime farm design that is from the Skycraft server, I think, the Il Mango design. I believe it's Il Mango. Um, the, to maximize the efficiency of the farm, of course, the all the spawning platforms take up the entire chunk in which the slimes can spawn. And that makes perfect sense. And then because you're almost never actually constrained to a single chunk so all of the the area where they can fall and the iron golems that that trick them into jumping off of their little platforms and the magma cube magma blocks and the the minecart collection system all that stuff is outside of the slime chunk and again makes perfect sense you're almost never actually constrained to a single chunk uh, but I've been doing these single chunk farms and uh, although the the item elevator will be over here Boop right here um, And even though it'll be here and it'll be technically outside the chunk uh, I have a I have a design I've been playing with in which everything will be constrained within the chunk um, So it won't be quite as efficient as it could be but my playing around it does pretty well so uh, I'm just gonna since this is a slime chunk and I know it's a slime chunk and I've excavated it out we will we will do this and so this is pretty cool so this is what we've got here and you can kind of see along here and along here and every five blocks up in the lower section you can't see it so much up there because it gets diffused by everything I've got a row of sea lanterns to sort of light it up otherwise it would just go dark and that way it's just a luminous panel of slime, which is kind of cool. Um, and of course, you know, now I need to build a slime farm to recoup all this slime that I'm using. But yeah, it's fun. So this is this is the layout. I've got got a row of sea lanterns along the floor here, and glass along the edge. So this is outside the chunk. This is inside the chunk. This floor space here is the chunk itself. That's where the slimes can can spawn, but all of my single chunk farms, I've been decorating the wall that borders the chunk, so that's what's going on here. And then, I, and it's basically it's it's four blocks deep. So I've got a solid wall of stone bricks. I've got another wall that's mostly solid stone bricks, but periodically, when we get every fifth block, right? So I'm looking at block nine, block ten. So at this level, I will put here a row of sea lanterns to illuminate the slime from behind so that you can see it all the way up. And then a complete wall of slime and then a complete wall of green glass. And I'll do that all the way up and then I'll build the spawning platforms. Now I can't... Um, expose this to the sky which is would be ideal i'm not going to do that because the pyramid the walls of the pyramid are in the way um 
I'm just not going to do that. So then I, I think I have the the caves around here pretty well lit up, but I will go and do some of that. And then I'll build the same situation where I'll build an item elevator. It goes up, shulker box loader up there, and it will just fill up shulker boxes full of slime. And then we will pick up a shulker boxes full of slime. I think that's pretty cool. Looking at 10. So this is where it's going to go on this side. And the the wall where the the item elevator is going to go is going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll we'll figure it out. Whoops. No. Oh, that little bounce where the slime when you're standing on slime blocks, it's kind of annoying. Looking at 10. So we will we will figure this out. There we go. And that's there. No, that's there. And I think I showed you why Barb need her own slime farm. Because they've got that bouncy bouncy castle tree that is just filled with slime. Um, it's not filled with slime. There's slime layers for you to jump on. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think, I don't know that there's been any additional work on there, but let's go check that out real quick since we're here. Woo, here's the tree. Not bad. Yep, so there's big floor slime here. Whoa, bounce. Bounce. I don't know if there's plan on putting additional floors, but then this one goes down to another. Ooh. Gosh, you bounce a long way there. Hi, rabbit. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if this goes down. I mean, no, it's just glowstone down there. Anyway, so lots of slime going on there. And the, and the slime farm is over here. Um, oh. That looks like foundation for something new. Don't know what's going on there. Okay. Go down here. Hi, bunny. And we could bounce down here, I suppose. Jump on the slime. Okay, that kind of works. Um, oh, and this floor is so freaky. When the door's closed this time. Yay. And see, oh, I think she's out a couple layers. Good. So this is, this is good. I mean, like I've walked in, there's already slimes like burning to their magma into their death. How do I get up there? Oh. Beacon. So, so this is a good little, good little slime farm. See, they're just pouring in. Very nice. And she's got a couple shulker boxes here full of slime blocks. Beautiful. I think this is meant to be an AFK spot. I don't know how we get up there. I guess we can come over here. Or not. I don't know. Interesting. Anyway, so, so this hasn't changed too much, except I think there's a couple more layers up there. And let's, how do we get up there? Let's figure out how tall this is now. I think we can just go up here. Hello, Mr. Gollum. Whoa, big area over here too. Interesting. So I don't know what other plans there are for this here. So just going up to about here. That floor is there. Looking at 24. 
which pretty good. And of course, it's taking up the whole spawnable area, right? For to allow the golems to do their spawning, which of course is smart. And they fall down onto the uh, fall down onto the magma blocks, do their thing. So this is good. Anyway, so that's that's what's going on at the moment. We will see how this goes. I'm very much hoping that we don't have to um, r ruin all this by restarting the server because that would that would just totally suck. But anyway, so there we go. That's it. This is Theron. This has been Minecraft Land Party. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time. All right. Bye.